Welcome to Wren Avenue Elementary. We are the new School of the Arts. We are following the Magnet School program where parents, community, staff are all engaged in working with the students through the arts. Our objective here is to create students to facilitate their development as artists. In order to be called a magnet school, you have to rest your program on five pillars of a magnet school. And those include a diverse group of students that represents the diversity that we live in. Secondly, innovative curriculum. So when parents enroll their children at Wren Avenue, they're getting the unique Wren Avenue Arts Magnet Program. Pursuing academic excellence, which is the third pillar. Implementing and using high quality instructional systems, which is the fourth pillar. And then the fifth pillar, creating family and community partnerships. We interject the arts into the other subjects as much as we can. This was a project that we did based on the artist Jackson Pollock. We listened to music just like Jackson Pollock did when he painted and they kind of let the music guide their motion and then I had them on the back here is a writing piece that they did about it after we painted. So this integrated language arts, we read a story, art, music, and then writing. We are incorporating all kinds of arts in every schedule every week so that it all connects right back to our theme of Arts Magnet. Our primary focus, of course, is the core of English language arts, math, science, social studies, and physical education. Our secondary focus, we want to cover all the arts strands, which include music, dance, theater, visual arts and media arts and we have chosen as part of our innovative curriculum to also include culinary arts and creative writing. And in Magnet's Art School it's prone to every art and that's why I like our school because there's so many things that you can do. We are improving our stage, getting a new sound system, adding in projectors so we can have some technology. We have a very well stocked music classroom and the kids will play whole class ensembles where they sing and play instruments. We do games, learn about classical music, learn how to write notation. In the band, they have the opportunity to play flute, clarinet, trumpet, and trombone, and in the strings, the violin and cello. We do three performances every year and assemblies as well. We bring in guest artists occasionally for the kids to listen to and learn from. They've become very comfortable with the different kinds of materials. So we use watercolors, tempera, tissue paper, clay, oil pastels, you name it. And the connections they're making, the vocabulary that they're using, the details, the conversation that happens between them is just so much richer than anything I've seen before. Arts programs in elementary schools have resulted in significant improvements in the quality of the school climate. We could not find any negative research about incorporating arts into your programs. And so we're trying to develop children starting at a kindergarten to think of themselves as an artist and someone who is capable of art. I work closely with our school counselor to provide art therapy so if they don't feel good on the playground they might come on in and be able to create something. So we try to provide different opportunities for children to express themselves and help them find a way to deal with their feelings in a really constructive way. I like art because when you're really mad you can just do art and it makes you like feel calm. The more we include and live and breathe art, we're opening up that creative side of our children's minds. And the more creative they get, the happier they are, the more excited they are to come to school. Well, we specifically chose Wren because it's a school of the arts. We feel like there's not enough arts in the schools and we wanted her to be in an environment where there was plenty of it. I 
like being in school. The art projects in my class are very fun to me because the art projects also help me learn. Like I learn about other people who created the art. Que sí les ayuda mucho porque no lo ven como algo eh, rutinario, algo aburrido, sino algo más um, divertido. We would be more than happy if you're interested to come and see what we're doing here at Wren Avenue. Come on board and welcome to Wren. Abstract art, you, whatever, whatever makes sense to you, it makes sense. I have two trees because one is abstract and one is real. That uh, the one that I very like is the abstract one. My favorite piece of art I used like numbers and made like um, pictures out of the numbers. So what I like about art is that you can do anything you are inspired to do, and that's why I like art. The person that inspires me is my Nana because she likes doing art. And my dad also inspires me because he brings canvases home and me and my sister get to paint on them too. Art can be anything. It could be in the wind. It could be the grass moving. It could be anywhere. You could do anything you want with art. I make a mistake and I can fix it. We've been learning about some artists like Frida Kahlo, Pablo Picasso, and now we're learning about George Seurat. I'm in chorus and I really like singing. It's one of my hobbies and I really like being in it because it's just really fun singing the songs. The thing that I like about learning the violin is that I am able to have fun by playing the violin. So I took violin. At first it was pretty hard for me, but then I got used to it. So now I'm pretty good at it. I play the violin and it's my second year. I'm in advanced class and it's really fun. I really wanted to try something more and get better and better at it. It sounds like music to my ears. I really hope that I'll become a great artist when I grow up. I want to be an artist when I grow up. It's, it's a dream to me. Mm -hmm.